Hi, this is Nellie Doidge, and I'd like to remind you of a very important fact, and that's verification or confirmation of your email. When you get an account, create an account on a Moodle site, it's really important to confirm and verify your email. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Now, some of these are timed and some are not. This is how it's done. I did this a long time ago, but I went into the account. I tried to log in with my Gmail account and I couldn't. And the reason was that it said that my account wasn't confirmed. So I looked it up and it seems to be that I got this message a long time ago. It wasn't in my spam box, but it was a couple of months ago. So I'm going to click on, this is the message I get, okay, by the administrator. So I'm going to click on it, cross your fingers and hope that it's still valid because if it's not, I'm going to have to contact the administrator who happens to be me. So I'll have to figure out either I'll confirm it on the site by going into the user list or I'll just have to uh, delete whatever is there and create another one. Now notice what I get. The confirmation link is either invalid or has expired. Please start the login process again to generate a new confirmation email. So do that. Let's do that. And hopefully it'll work because in a lot of cases it will not. So let's see if we can troubleshoot and get things going. So I logged in using my Google account and I may just get the same message. And I've heard this from others who get the same message. So I'm logging in with my Gmail account or at least one of them. I do have a few, I must admit, but I'm logging in with one of them, the one that I generally use, especially when I'm the admin of the site. I usually use the same email. I also have an admin. I can go through that channel uh, to troubleshoot if things don't work. So notice the message that I get, slightly different. The message is an existing account was found. So I'm there in the system, or at least it remembers me with this email address, but is not linked yet. Of course, I haven't confirmed it. The account must be linked before you can log in. Very important information. An email should have been sent to the address, my Gmail. It contains easy instructions to link your accounts. If you have any difficulty, contact the site administrator, and that's me. So let's go back to my email account and see what is going on. And sure enough, there it is. So notice um, it's not spam. Don't worry. It's an HTTPS. It's There's a certificate, but there's the message. So now I'm going to click on the confirmation link and it should work because I just got it now. And sure enough, uh, so don't give up. Keep trying and you should be able to get another link later on. This is the message that I get so I know I'm in. Okay, registration has been confirmed and then I can go into the courses and join the courses that are available. And that's it. Hope this has been of help. Please do not give up. Uh, let's go back into the login page. We can now log out so you can see where it all started. So it started with a login. This is uh, a test site. I use it for different things for admin and for trying things out. So let's look for the login. So notice what the login has. Okay, I've got these three authentication methods, Facebook, Google, and Microsoft. And I try to log in with Google. Now I'll be able to do it without any problems because my email was linked as they coined it. It's linked. So let me go back in. We're talking about reach to share.org and we're waiting. Be patient. It may take time depending on your connection and whether the site is being backed up. That takes time too. So keep that in mind as well. And there I'm in. I'm going to change, uh, make a few changes to this site and I'll be showing it to you. So stay tuned for more.